blame me on? I do that a lot. Anyway, I, uh, earlier today I showed him a test that I took back when I was in college for one of my, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, exact term was, speech, uh, speech class. And it was the Meyer Briggs test in which you uh, get your personality factory determined by one of four different things. You have I or E, uh, let me think, S or N. I can't remember the entire thing, but let me just put it this way. My result when I took the test back then and today is still ISFP. Now the I, like he mentioned, means introverted. We're both introverts. In layman's terms, shy, S-H-Y. Thank you. Yeah, basically we're shy around people that we don't really know that well. And if we start trying to get a connection, they have to have something in relation to us. That's the only way any conversation's going to work. Like us, for example. We were kind of shy when we first met, back when we were both going to college. Shows. February 2008, I can remember that day and single a freaking year and a month. Don't get me started. I'm just that damn smart. But yeah, it was seven years ago that I met, met her. And it was at this place, hence the room. <laughs> yeah, we're actually in one of the taping things for, at the college that we went to. <laughs> Even though I went here for a little bit, but I also went to a different college, which in Lima's terms, I did graduated, but I kind of regret throwing it down there. I could have been here in the first place, but due to obligations of my past, I'm not going to get into it, but if you want to know what does that term she said, I... Introverted? The, 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 previous, the previous term she said, I-S-F-P, right? Yes. Okay, if you want to more about that, you'll see the link at the bottom of your screen, or buy up, or... Alright. Oh, we're in the dollar sign. <laughs> yes. There we go. Well, then again, let's pass a little bit funny away. There. There you go. I S F P. <laughs> Just getting a little fun. Just loose enough for the audience out there. And no, some of this picks. But besides that, yeah, that's what we're talking about, though. The I will be introverted. <laughs> and yes, today, I'm still introverted. I've been like that since elementary school, even when I was in middle school. High school? Maybe if I was so much as the term outcast. But when when I left, I pretty much should have told her what was really going on because, long story short, roommate situation, apartment, and I was moving to Virginia Beach, which I should have stayed because I could have found another place to stay in, in the area. But who in the world can I find someone to be a super roommate? Because let's face it, roommate situation can be a little bit good, but majorly hard as hell. Case in point, dealt with that. I can understand that completely. I've seen plenty of television shows where people trying to be roommates and it was just started and it didn't go so well and yeah, I can see where that was going. Now we still dust we had those TV shows a long time ago. Real World and Road Rules on MTV. Wait, what? It's a real show. 
called, and I quote, Dating Naked on VH1. I've heard of Naked and Afraid on, I think it's the History Channel or anything. Discovery. Of the, well, it's basically the same area, but I've never heard of Dating Naked. Ugh. I should you not so bad. It is pretty much is. To, if you want to know what I'm talking about, otherwise you're confused, sir, www.vh1.com. Right where you see on the front page, click on shows, you'll see on the left column of the screen, shows Dating Naked. It is a real show. Woo. Woo and DVD. Or in my case, what bloody bastard did that? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. The creators of Viacom who owns VH1, that's who. <laughs> nice job, Viacom. You're the reason why it's double dip no longer on the air. <laughs> They're the ones who do that? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, besides, anyway, I'll try but yeah, you pretty much now, if you, you want to know more, well, if he's trying to ask, what do you mean by introverted? Well, you heard a little bit more about my little things, too. Share yours. All right. During my first semester at the college, I was in a speech class that I had to take in order to graduate. And I wasn't really big with it at the time, and I remember it to, I remember the teacher to this day, Mr. Taylor, a.k.a. Clefairy Boy. Not me! Thank you. His first name was Don, by the way, so don't worry about that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't ask me, okay? Okay. Anyway, one of the things that he made us do was the Myers-Briggs personality test. Mine came up ISFP, and I learned a, pretty mu a lot of things about that test. Now, even though I don't exactly remember the other three terms, introverted did stand out to me, because that matched me more than I thought it ever could. And I think the main reason for that is because basically if you're introverted, you're more artistic-like, you're more creative, you like sharing your interests and you have a huge passion for them and you always want to stand up for what you believe in. That matches me to a T. And it, when you have more passion for a particular subject, you usually stick to it to a long time. That's pretty much interesting. How long did that last? Well, assuming my interest, I assume a long time, because auto racing's always been a main part of my life, as has Pokemon. Uh, wrestling, for the most part, even though it's trying to tail off, and game shows has always been a part of my life as well. And let's face it, Pokemon beats Digimon day of the week. Sorry, Digimon, you suck. Yeah, starting in Season 4. You try to redeem yourselves in Season 5, but Season 4 just ruined it all together. And because of you, you went off, got canceled, and you screwed up Fox Network, thank you! <laughs> You're the reason why that Fox Kids no longer on the air! Now we got stupid crap as in, ooh, stop them! That's Nickelodeon, actually, but I can see your point. Basically, it's the nature documentaries that's ruining everything. You don't need nature documentaries on every single network on Saturday morning. Yeah. I'm looking at you, CW. Mm. Formerly WB. Thanks a lot for changing it and screwing it up. I don't want to keep on seeing nature stuff over and over again. You already got a channel for that. It's called Animal Planet. <laughs> and ABC as well with the Litton's Adventure I have to listen to through my earphones that I have to basically shield while I have to sleep because I work midnight shift, but now I have to hear that that horrible theme song because Grandma has to watch it for whatever reason. And it's... Yeah. Passionate for stuff like that. A rage out against those kind of things because of what I believe in and what I like. Trying to get away from ridiculousness, that's why I work the midnight shift, and I have to work in the kitchen at my job and a truck stop. Mm. So, yeah, that kind of thing. The passion I'm showing now is just part of what being an introvert is all about. And I can second on that one. 
My past in the Senate is too with gay shows too. Case in point, one of them is no longer on the air. Super Sloppy and Family Double Dare, the Fox edition, the Nickelodeon edition, okay. But when 1992 came around, they had the Oscar called the Shark, Case in Point, Joss, I didn't like it. <laughs> and also, my other passion to do is shows. I also have a passion for watching, and I mean this respectfully, I love watching crime shows, not C-S-I or N-C-I-S, man, none of that piece of shit. I'm talking about true, based on true story ones, as in Forensic Files and Snap. And you're going to see those episodes, they're on Oxygen Network, and any of your TV network you can find, especially on HLN, formerly known as Headline News, now they abbreviated it and change the logo again, which I don't know why, because it's like a box where a teeny girl on a bong. So HLN, I don't care, you're owned by CNN, Ted Turner's network company, you slow punk. <laughs> but besides that, yeah, I can understand that too, and I also realize this, I had a job like that a long time ago myself, working in, in a bakery department, being the only guy there of count nine females. Did I have a problem with that? No. But did I seriously have to still and listen to the Christmas music all the time? Especially the one I didn't like. Feliz Navidad. No offense. I know I'm not trying to offend you. Honestly, I don't need to keep on hearing that over and over again. I'm trying to seriously listen to my own music, but... And again, when you work in the bakery department and you gotta hear someone say, Is this bread fresh? Man, we just get out the oven. What does that mean to you? It means... Yes, it is fucking fresh! I just got out the oven, you idiot! Yeah, I have truckers with that same problem. Hmm, there's a B on this sandwich. What does that stand for? Uh, bacon? Hmm, there's an S on this sandwich. What does that stand for? Uh, sausage? sausage. Hello? And someone, if someone asked me, uh, what is the letter H for? Uh, I don't know, maybe, um, ham or hamburger? Yeah. Do we really need seriously, uh, to do the abbreviation of every single meat? B, bacon, C, cabbage? Do we need to do that? No, we don't. If you don't know what all the meat abbreviation is, go back to elementary school and tell me how this. Or, look at the commercial Arby's. Arby's, we have the meats. <laughs> Except for one, they have, they, except, except, they have not one meat, and that is pretty much ground beef. I mean, they did all, they do all of them, they do ham, turkey, chicken, pork, and also salami and roast beef, but they don't do ground beef, so I'm sorry, RVs, you're about seven or eight meats out, okay? If you have all of them, you should have ground beef in it. So I'm sorry, Arby's. Even though that your food is good, you're one meat off. <laughs> and don't judge me, people. Come in, come on, let's face it. Arby's does taste pretty damn good. <laughs> Fresh the curly fries. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, other than that, do you seriously get our point out about injured verdict? What about extra verdict? Yeah, I don't like going to going to big crowded areas. Case in point, stadiums such as football stadiums or baseball or, or basketball. It that's pretty much a lot of people. You got someone who'll sit next to you, don't want to sit next to you. Especially at the movie theaters, then you want you just want to go here and pop your feet up like this and have a good time. But no, you can't. You got somebody who's sitting in front of you, and you got someone who's sitting right behind you. They didn't mind you want to kick your head or do something that you might feel a little uncomfortable with. That's why I want to go ahead and say if you want to go to the movie theaters, go when it's nice people. Case in point, early matinees. They do that all the time. But my advice when it comes to movie theaters, after what's been going on, your best bet is just wait till it comes on DVD. Because I'm not going to movie theaters <laughs> complete F that. If I want to see a movie, DVD, get it, buy it, be happy.
Especially if you get the special feature ones. Not the... No offense, Disney. I just pretty much don't want to see. And I don't want to see getting frozen again. I don't even want to hear the damn song. Let it go. I'll be like, damn. Punch the living breath and we'll do it again. No offense to the people who post from first rate in the Andes, but I just don't like the movie. My niece liked it. Fine. I hate it. But before that Elsa person who freezes stuff, it was a ninja called Sub Zero that went. He froze stuff. So Elsa, get in line. <laughs> so now do you understand what more introverted stuff is, people? Because we pretty much trying to sum it up for you. And I've been dealing with it for a long time. As have I. That's why I'm very with talking to a camera. Well, I two of us. I started talking to a camera a couple of years ago. I was nervous, but then again, hey, I think it's much better doing that. And I don't give a damn what any of you say about me. You can kiss my black American ass if you don't like it. But then again, I'm one third Native American, one third Irish, so don't piss me off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and don't ask me, of course, about wait, man. How could it's, could you use uh, ultra time be one third Irish? It's called family heritage. Look it up. Or the website term www.ancestry.com. That's ancestry. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay, if you want to know what I'm trying to say. A N C E S T Y dot com. Oh, let's not go real fortunate in this little situation. For Jeopardy. <laughs> Jeopardy's notorious for doing a bunch of weird things yeah. in terms of that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, you spelled it wrong. That's actually a wrong answer. I'm sorry. But no. Um, it is not the best no it is not the number one game show of all. Wait a minute, that was a match game. Okay, because that's pretty much the main search to change the difference. Yeah, that was GSM's <sighs> countdown. Yeah, well, GSM ain't every two of their subjects. <laughs> the funny part is, GSM's 50 Greatest Countdown, uh, 50 Greatest Game Show Countdown, they only aired that entire thing once. Yeah, that was almost 10 years ago. That was 2006 during the Game Show Odyssey. Yeah, before the death of Brent Summers in 2007. Right. Charles Nelson Riley died in 2005. 2007. It was the same year. Well, oh, okay. So, it was first him, then her. Right. Okay. He was in May, she was in September. Damn, five months apart. June, July, August. No, four. I was off. Yeah. All right, four, four months apart. Yeah, the same year they had that tragedy happened in Virginia Beach, I mean, uh, Virginia Tech. That's, that's, that's right. Virginia Tech students in April 2007. 2007 was a crappy year. It just was. Yeah, even though that year had an unlucky number in it, any, <laughs> any number that has a seven, I'd rather have a seven than a six any day of the week. <laughs> That's another thing about introverted introvert things too. So, uh, a similar trait that their favorites, case in point, numbers would be kind of it. I like number seven because pretty much, pretty much something I kind of would like to keep on having. I don't want any other number. Anything, anything that has a seven in it, I don't like. But well, if you give me thirteen, get out of my sight. <laughs> Especially Friday the Thirteenth, even the even the holiday, even the movies, I don't care for it. Yeah, twenty-three is my lucky number because it's been associated with champions of all sorts. That's okay. Twenty-three is good. Racing card number. If you don't know who, who, who she's talking about, eh, go on her page. Or look at the look at the uh, 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 link up above, and I can and I can't tell you what you know what I'm talking about on her page. Main page is ultimate 
23 dragon, all in one word, not space. And her another piece is back up same thing too. Real, I can't say it, I'll spell it. Real A Z I K A 23. Did I get it right? Not quite. It's Damn. It's A K I Z A. It's a Kiza. That's after a Yu-Gi-Oh character that I kind of look like, apparently. You look. You do not look at a damn thing like that Yu-Gi-Oh person. <laughs> Apparently, I also channel her rage, apparently. But basically, the only difference between me and Akiz is that I don't have psychic powers. And you're human, and that damn thing's pretty much that's from Japan. <laughs> it's true, okay? She, I know. She was born in the USA. That thing is created from Japan, originally. Well, most animes are. Except for the American version of Street Fighter that was on USA Network back in 1993. The U.S. version. Okay. Yes, well, I know it was originally from Japan, but uh, when he had USA cartoons on the weekends, that show on the weekends, the U.S. version, which they didn't have their eyes closed. They used, uh, the credits was all just some American, even though the company's from Japan. But yeah, that's that's another trait about that, so. And one thing about us, uh, oh, introvert, but also the day we read about schizophrenic disorder is the man depression. I don't know if you deal with it. I deal with it all the time. Especially when I don't want to, you know, leave the room a lot. Where I'm at right now, it is a lot of. And I'm not swimming down a lot of disabled people on a wheelchair. Not just now, because my grandfather was on a wheelchair. And I give much respect for those who try, you know, still get around. But, I like whatever they do, I only do it because, I mean, I'm the youngest person there. And do I feel, you know, that I'm in my comfort zone range? Sometimes, no. I swear I stay in a room and just stay to myself. That's why I have a sign that says, if you want to see me, knock on the door or check on me before you walk in. Just respect my privacy because that's another thing too. When you just want to be bug, you just want to stay in your own space, okay? And if I don't know you, then three months just don't, you know, and when it's come, come on behind me and try to scare me because that's another thing about it. You get defensive from mm -hmm. so, that's, so that's how I am. And I know you told me about all this. Everything's going to be okay it's, uh, starting Wednesday. I'm not going to say because that's, like I said, it's part of our business. I hope so because, because of my, because of, you know, like I said, I'm in the past and I have my feelings are really sensitive. I don't feel like getting hurt again. I really don't. And if I had to, I was just keep myself guarded all the time. That's why I don't, and I wish I had my hat on like I had on the last time. But well, you'll see it in more videos of mine, but you get my hat.
appreciate if I just heard it sit there in front of me. I can understand that. I believe it's been six months since that damn incident. Uh -huh. I'm right, six months. If you don't, if you do the count, it's February. you want, you son of a bitch. Because pretty much shout out doubt, my ass was outside in handcuffs too. So let's not forget, you're the one seriously acting real stupid and call, almost cost me my freedom because of what you did now where I'm in different situations. I may be your, I am your son, but let's not forget, I am an adult. So unless you just want to go ahead and change your own damn life, you might as well grow the fuck up. You understand me? But other than that, I am your son, I still love you, but the next time you seriously put me in a situation like that again, I swear to goodness gracious, I won't give a flying fuck if I kick your ass myself. Because I did it before, and thanks to you, I got a damn scar on the back side of my head. Happy? Okay? Yeah, I just remember who I was telling that for a long time. Now I'm saying it. That's a good thing. It's fresh you need to get out. And that's a trade off when he has this offended disorder. Mood swings. You go from happy, sad, angry, or I got, or as I am, raging bull, and piss the hell off within 30 seconds. And he still owes me a lot. You know, it's been an apology. But if you seriously jeopardize my niece, your granddaughter, or your sinfulness, we got a major problem, man. Extreme major problem. And I'll tell you right now, I won't go down at a fight. Because I have fought you before. And I will kick your ass again. I do regret hurting my mother. Round three. I don't regret Fight. You. Forgive me for saying that. Now you guys know why passion is a big thing when it comes to the introverts like us. He's willing to fight for what he believes in, regardless of who it's against. Case in point. He's willing to try and help his father, though he refused the help, and try to rage out on him for it. He wants to make sure that everyone's lives around his family is nice and bright. And he'll do whatever he can to try and make that happen. That's his passion. That's what he wants. And he'll do what he has to do to get it. Even if it means sacrificing my own life, because I haven't saw my person who I need to see. And that's my mother. And I hope to God I do. Same thing with my grandmother, who I realized 
that she is seriously now have dementia. It's getting worse. And I don't like that. And you ask me, when's the last time I saw both of them? Grandmother, February 2003. My mother, same year as that. Yeah, almost 13 years I have not seen both of them. Because one of them lives in the Moon Nursing Home and the other one lives in my own state in Laura, Maryland. And I hope to goodness gracious I get to see both of them, especially my mother. Because she just turned the big 6 0 this year. And I missed the birthday party, which I wish I could have gone, but pretty much maybe I was nervous because I didn't want her to see her son like this. So Bernie Gibson, just to let you know, and that's my mother's name. Shut up, you don't like it, because on YouTube. I will do my best to come see you. And your son is not being a hard headed. Because I'm not like my my father. I will never ever be like him. Rest assured that you pretty much did the damn good job raising my ass. I hope you guys understand what the introverts thing is about now. All the stuff that people like us go through. The passion we have for everything that we believe in and have a connection with. Wanting to stand up for what we believe in. And what we'll, and we'll be and what we believe is the truth. Seven years ago, I was regret leaving. At least I'm back this time around. Especially when I'm getting help from assistance from this company that's about to get me back into working. Jobs a job, but you know what? You gotta be careful what you seriously apply for. Yeah. You mean you may not like it? You mean you know what image our coworkers? But let's put it this way, you guys do what you gotta do to bite the dust, bite your time, and just deal with it. Yep, I know that feeling. Had a boatload of sucky jobs. Stuff in my face again. 
trust and believe you think I won't seriously cost my job to seriously find some way to get even. But don't spit in my face ever. That's what we call in layman's term assault. Not unless you live in Texas and you're pretty much fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I said something about Texas. Fuck you, you state trooper. Okay. Like you said before last time, and I will say it again. Or let me write it for you if you can understand.
Star. If you don't like Star, if you don't like it, but seriously, ESPN was out before Fox Sports One and took over HTS, formerly Home Team Sports Channel. No, that was Comcast Sportsnet. Fox Sports One took over the Speed Channel. Oh, thanks a lot, you bastards. No wonder I no, no wonder they don't show this uh, bunch of racing shows no more. Yeah, the only one they really have now is NASCAR Race Up. That's it. This is the last. This is the last few months of the whole season of NASCAR. They they stop in October. November. Okay, I was close by one month. Even though next month, yeah, next month is the four months of the embers. <laughs> embers. Yeah, October, November, December, September. Do we really have to seriously go into a celebrity name game thing? Things where it ends with a burr. Like Amber. Or oh, Reminder. Don't get me started, okay? I know all my stuff. Especially I know 14 people with the letter Z in their name. <laughs> you looked that up, didn't you? No, I pretty much kind of memorized it. One of them, Selena Gomez. Yeah. Ex girl, ex uh, her ex boyfriend, the Canadian boy himself, Justin Bieber. What the hell are you thinking, Selena? You're Latina. You seriously should have went something better and like I don't know, not act like Molly Cyrus. Thank you very much. At least you did. At least you did a cartoon thing, and Molly Cyrus jumped on a damn wrecking ball to completely naked, as in Leanne Hansworth. You're Australian. What the hell are you doing, banging that crap out of her? Okay. I was trying to be a smart ass. Again. Yeah, that made me laugh. <laughs> but then again, you're good at doing that. You should really be a comedian. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but I hope I don't be like, you know, you know the real guys who go a little bit offended stuff. I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh, bowling ball mixed with Ron White a little bit, okay? And Jeff Frostworthy. Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> oh, my, he just wear the. Shirts and the flannel shirts so much. You maybe just pretty much can get off of that. Yeah. Then again, your wife does kind of like that. Which I'm thinking, how the hell a freaking redneck can marry a guy like that? Mm -hmm. And then again, there's always money. So, <laughs> congratulations, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I hope we get the point, though. Help your friend out today. Mm -hmm. Seriously, okay? Because we don't need it to work behind you again. Yeah. Be there for your friends. At least my hand ain't messed up last time. Well, the other half was bigger, so... Well, like I said, at least she looks way better than that digit that Digimon Yogi you person like you said it. You go, actually. I was close. I keys him. Yeah, well... <laughs> Insert picture of Pikachu. <laughs>
Uh, what about the other three sectors? Did you get that one? Uh, that one's introverted, creative, and also more destructive too, and supportive. Hey, you damn right on all of them. Sounds like ISFP actually, so yeah. So well, to take the test yourself and tell us what type of results you guys get. If you want to know more about it, the information is down at the bottom of the screen on the website. And if you want to see it's our website, hers is right there. Mine will be completely here. And it's still the new one, Ultrasonic Taylor, my main page. Not the new one, not the old, the old one, Sonic Taylor, which was deleted by the overlords of YouTube. It's now Ultra Sonic Taylor, and you can still look on the other page, or if you can't, go on her page and you'll find me. It's, <laughs> it's me with the hat on that looks like Raiden. And she was sick before, and I'll say it again. Uh, final answer? <laughs> Alright, I'll do the outro. Thank you guys for watching. Please tell us the, test, the results that you guys take the test yourself if you can. This is Ultimate 23 Dragon. Ultra Sonic Taylor. And this is our final answer. Thanks for pushing your luck. Bye bye. <laughs>